All right, I think I'm just about done for what I can do today before I have to go home. So, hello friends, let's talk about cleaning your paintbrushes. So as you can see, I've got some acrylic paint over here. I've got a paintbrush jar full of paintbrushes and dirty water. I've got palette all uh, ready to go, etc. cetera. Um, now it's time to clean. First things first, I've got junk on the end of this brush. I've got junk in this palette. I've got junk in this jar and I have mess on the counter. This kind of thing, pretty easy. Um, I know where the paint's gonna go. It's gonna go in this bucket for me. For you, it might be in a cabinet or elsewhere, but that's the first thing that I can put away. Nothing strange is happening there. For these guys though, there's a little bit of cleaning involved. So what do you wanna do? Is you wanna make sure you have a couple things handy. You need to have a sink, at least one paper towel, and potentially brush cleaner if you've got something particularly nasty. Now, if you don't have brush cleaner, regular soap works. Um, and if you haven't got any of that, then just doing your best will be better than doing nothing at all. First off, all this junk on this paintbrush is no good. A lot of this can go down the sink. Now, that said, when it goes down the sink, it clogs the sink. So we don't really like it going down the sink. Can it? Absolutely. Should it? No. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper towel and you wipe off most of that excess. And you can see that I've been very careful with my painting so that a lot of my paint bristles now look completely clean. The key word there is that they look clean, not that they are clean. Next thing, we're gonna run some water and we're gonna run our bristles under that water. I can rub it a little bit with my fingers. If I had some crusties in here, I could come swirl it into my in my uh, brush soap and I could swirl it a little bit more. Sometimes you'll see a little mat that has a bunch of textures on it that you can rub it against, or failing that, you can rub it against your palm like so. The point is, is I'm getting a little bit of soap on this paintbrush and then I'm gonna rinse it out. Now I need to check it. To check my bristles, I'm gonna squeeze the water out. If the water comes out clean, and all of this did, then this paintbrush is good to go. If I squeeze it, and the water comes out another color, it's no good. This one's mostly clean, because I didn't use it much, so it's probably all right. But this one, if I squeeze it, that water's coming out blue, which means that this needs some cleaning. So again, I'm gonna swirl it on my palm. I might use a little bit of my brush cleaner, and you can really tell that the blue's coming out with the brush cleaner. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Dab, dab, dab. Rinse it off. I'm squeezing and I'm still getting a little bit of blue, but not nearly as much, which is good. Swirl, swirl, swirl. You can still see that blue coming out. Rinse, rinse, rinse. There we go. Coming out clear. It does not take long at all. We would rather write you a pass to go to your next class than clean up after you. I promise you, even if I look super frustrated anytime I'm writing you a pass because you were cleaning up, I might be but I would rather do that than you leave me a mess by 1,000%. 10 million years dungeon if you leave me messy paintbrushes. <laughs> All right, so let's see this one. The bristles on this one are blue, so it seems a little tricky, but the water is coming out clear, so it's okay. Jars, empty them, shake, shake, drop somewhere. Depending on your teacher, you might have them dropped upside down or you might have them right side up. In my classroom, they tend to sit right side up because I don't have anything to catch the excess water and it'll evaporate out anyway. Some teachers will have a tray where you wanna put it upside down so it can have all the water drip out. Doesn't really matter which. Anyway, but these are gonna go where they belong. Hair in the air, tail in the pail. Paint brushes, the bristles on them are quite flimsy. If you have it sitting down this way, one, water will drip and it will gather in this metal area and then the paintbrush will break. Or the bristles will bend like so and then dry that way. 
When they dry that way, it's incredibly hard to fix. Let the air evaporate from the hair, please. Evaporation is good. So make sure that they're standing up. These ones need to go back to my classroom, so we're not gonna put them in that particular jar right now. As for your palette, you'll see that this particular palette has been prepared with some saran wrap, which means that whenever I'm done with this paint, I can take it off and throw it away. <laughs> and then this is not dirty. Hey! But if that's not an option for you, trash can that in a minute. If you need to wash it, it's very easy to wash with some water and some soap. A lot of the paint that is on here is easy enough to scratch off. So hopefully you don't have much left on here from previous less well-minded people and well-mannered folks. But give it a good rinse. Make sure that nothing chunky is on it. If, just like the paintbrush, there's chunks of paint on it, please get as much of that wiped off with a paper towel into a trash can as you can, just so you don't end up clogging the sinks. But now that this is all wet, it can do one of two things. In my classroom, I just have them put the wet palettes away because water will not hurt anything in that cabinet. Other teachers will have drying racks kind of like these, where you can put these palettes to wait for the next person who needs to use them or other trays like this, where again, you can wait for the next person to use them. Not all classes are the same. Make sure you double check what your teacher wants you to do. All right, so I've got clean brushes, a clean palette and a clean and mostly empty of water jar. Dang, that's wet. And I can take my trash and my other trash and I can throw them away. These belong in whatever cabinets or place that they belong and that's how you take care of your paintbrushes. Ciao!